Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel where you can find videos that will make math more fun and easy for you to become winner in numbers, winner in life. In this video, I'm going to present to you simple tricks on how to find the sum of consecutive numbers in an instant. Before going to the discussions, let us define first what are consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers, these are numbers that follow one after another in a consistent pattern. Example of consecutive numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. The pattern is one more than every other number. Consecutive numbers, we use the three dots or ellipses to replace the numbers in the series to save spaces. Example, 1, 3, 5, 7, ellipses, 17, 19. This means that the numbers 9, 11, 13, and 15 are included in the series because they are odd numbers less than 20. How do we find the sum of consecutive numbers in an instant? Okay, let us have examples. We are going to find the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Let us do it first by following the long computational method. So when we do this, using the long computational method, so we have to add this one by one. So let's start with 1 plus 2 to give us 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And then 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28. 28 plus 8 is 36. 36 plus 9 is 45. 45 plus 10 is 55. So if we are following the usual way of adding numbers, we can do it that way. But we have easy ways for us to find the sum of consecutive numbers. So let us start with the first method. Let us use our first method. Our first method is the pairing method. So in the pairing method, we are trying to find initial sums in which the sum is a friendly number. So what do we mean by a friendly number? A friendly number is a number that is a multiple of 10. So when we have a number that's multiple of 10, it is easier for us to add or to multiply. So if we look at here, we can pair numbers in which the sum will give us 10. So since we have already a 10 here, so we will set this aside. 10. And then, we have to combine together 1 and 9 to give us 10. We can also combine 2 and 8 to give us 10. 3 and 7 will give us 10. And finally, we have 4 and 6 will give us 10. After that, we have to count how many groups of 10 do we have. So we have already here 1 of 10. So 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So in other words, we have already 5 groups of 10. So 5 times 10 will give us 50. But remember, we have one number here in the series in which there is no pair and that is 5. So 50 plus this 5 will give us 55. So this is one way for us to find the sum of consecutive numbers now aside from this pairing method we can also use the method devised by carl friedrich Gauss. he was able to find the sum of consecutive numbers when he was eight years old in this method it is similar to pairing so we have to pair numbers so when we pair the first and the last number it will give us 11. if we notice if we will also pair the second number and the 
second to the last number, it will give us also 11. The same thing with 3 and 8, another 11. 4 and 7, another 11. And 5 and 6, another 11. And then, we have to count how many groups of 11 do we have. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5 groups of 11. So, times 11 will give us 55. Therefore, the sum of the first 10 counting numbers is 55. Following the method introduced by Carl, we can come up with a rule. So, we can see here, if we have 1 to 10, so mean to say that our last number is 10. So, let's say, for example, if n represents the last number, which is 10, to get 5, we have to divide this by 2. And then, multiply this by 11, which is the number 10, n plus 1. So, in other words, if we are using the formula to get the sum of consecutive number, we can use the formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So, how do we use this formula? So, since our last number is 10, so our n is 10. So, we have 10 times n also is 10 plus 1 divided by 2. So, we can just divide 10 and 2 to give us 5. This is 1. So, 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 times 5, you have 55. So, that's how we use our formula in finding the sum of consecutive whole numbers or counting numbers. N times the quantity of N plus 1 divided by 2. So, this is our formula. Now, let us have another example. We will be using the pairing method and then the method introduced by Carl and then we will also use the formula. So if we are going to use our pairing method for us to come up with friendly sums, we can make initial sums of 100. So since we have already 100 here, we will just encircle it. And then we have 1 and 99 will give us also 100. 2 and 98 will give us 100. So, we don't need to do it to all numbers because as, I have, as we have said earlier, the ellipsis here tells us that there are still numbers inside. Since we have to come up with pairs, so we have to think how many pairs do we have? Taking out 100, so from 100, we have to subtract 1 because this one is already 100. So we have already 99. And one number there has no pair and that number is 50. So we will add, subtract also another one. So we'll give us 98. So we have only 98 numbers to be paired. So 98 divided by 2 will give us 49. So there are 49 numbers with pairs. 49 numbers with pairs whose sum is 100 each. Plus this 100, we have 50 of 100. So in other words, we have 50 groups of 100 to give us 5,000. Since one number has no pair and that is 50, so plus 50, so you have 5,050. Now, following the method introduced by Goals, we can see here when we add 1 and 100 will give us 101. Since we have 100 numbers, we have 50 pairs of numbers that we can have and each pair will give us 101. So in other words, we have 50 pairs of 101. So 50 times 101 will give us 5050. Now following our formula in which to get the sum of consecutive numbers, we'll just simply use the formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2 in which the n is the last number. 
Our last number is 100 times 100 and plus 1 divided by 2. 100 divided by 2, so you have 50 times 100 plus 1. 100 plus 1 is 101 times 50. It's just the same as this to give us 5,050 as the answer. Now, aside from consecutive whole numbers, or counting numbers. We can also have consecutive odd numbers or consecutive even numbers. Let's start with the sum of consecutive even numbers. So in here, we are going to find the sum of the first 10 consecutive natural or counting even numbers. So we have 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 even counting numbers. So let's start with pairing. Let us make the initial sum which are friendly numbers. So we have here 20. So we can encircle 20. And then we can combine 2 and 18. We have 4 and 16, 6 and 14, and 8 and 12. So we have this is 20, this is 20, 20, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus this 25. 5 groups of 20, which is equivalent to 100. Plus the 10, which has no pair, will give us 110. We can also use the formula. So in here, we can see that 5 times 20 is just similar to 10 times 10, in which the 10 here is the number of even numbers that we use since there are 10 even numbers from 2 to 20. So 10 times 10 is 100 plus the 10 is equal to 110. So in other words, if n is our number of even numbers, we have to multiply it to itself and then plus itself. So we can have now our formula n squared plus n. So if we have 10 even numbers, 10 times 10 is 100 plus that 10 is 110. So if we have 5, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 5 times 5 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Therefore, the sum of the first 5 counting even numbers is 30. Now, what if, if we have consecutive odd numbers? So we have here consecutive odd numbers. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13, plus 15, plus 17, plus 19. So if we will be using the pairing method, we can add 1 and 19, which is 20. 3 and 17, another 20. 5 and 15, another 20. 7 and 13, another 20. And 9 and 9 and 11 is another 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 groups of 20. 5 times 20 is equal to 100. So therefore, the sum of the first 10 odd numbers is 100. So looking at the equation here, we can also formulate our formula. 5 times 20 is the same as 10 times 10, which is equivalent to 100. Why 10? Because we have 10 odd numbers. So to get the sum of consecutive numbers, we just simply multiply the number of odd numbers to itself. n times n or n squared. It is now your turn to answer the following exercises. So you are going to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the sum of the first 500 counting or natural numbers. So in here, you have to have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on until 500. And number 2, what is the difference between the sum of the first 50 even numbers and the sum of the first 
50 odd numbers. When you are done answering, you can comment your answers using the tag consecutive numbers and you may post your answers on my Facebook page or my Twitter account, Roel Carpio Math Tutorial. Thank you. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching my video. See you again on my next video. Thank you.